Hello, my name is Erin Santor, and I am the creator of Treasure Quest Learning Adventures. I teach online throughout school.com, and I have some really great classes for ages five to nine called Grammar Detectives. I also teach classes for grammar for older students too. But I wanted to tell you about my Grammar Det Detectives course. Uh, actually, there's seven available right now, and they are just, we learn about grammar in the different places that children are um, familiar with. For example, the zoo, we do nouns at the zoo. We, another grammar class is verbs at the playground, and we do a creative writing assignment with that. I then take the students on another trip to the farm where they learn about adjectives. And we practice using adjectives to describe uh, the different farm animals. And then we go to under the sea. And that is where we learn about adverbs. And my most popular class, which I will be making another video on that class, is called Grammar Detectives in the Rainforest, going on a grammar hunt to find nouns and verbs. And we have a creative writing assignment for that also. I am here today to tell you about my favorite class that I just put out. This is called uh, Super Safari, going on a super safari, looking for the four types of sentences. In this class, we will be going to Kenya, and uh, we are going to eight different national parks there. I've been to Kenya myself, and so I, that may be the reason why I get so excited about this class. I love to show the kids the different parks and animals that I saw, meet the people. And so one of the things they will do when they get into class, they will first be greeted with a video from me, uh, just talking a little bit about what they're going to be doing today in class. Jumbo, welcome to Africa. My name is Mrs. Santor, and I am so excited that you have come to Africa to see me. We're in Kenya, and in Kenya they speak Swahili. Jumbo means hello in Swahili. So, Jumbo! Today we are going to have so much fun in class. We're going to see animals from different places around Kenya. We're going to visit many interesting things. You're going to see some volcanoes. And you're going to meet someone from Kenya. I look forward to teaching you, so come on into the classroom. Let's start our journey. So this is the uh, introduction that your student will see uh, once class begins. It's a, about a couple minutes long. And then when, they, when this is over, I come into the classroom, I say Jumbo, and I greet each one while they repeat Jumbo back to me. Uh, this class is filled with so much adventure, so much activity. Uh, students are very busy throughout the whole class. They're interacting the whole time. I wanted to share with you uh, something that they do during the class. Here they will be, you will receive handouts. Once you enroll your student uh, throughout school, you will receive a handout, um, several pages actually. And the first one is this guidebook page, the cover for the four types of sentence super safari tour guidebook. And the problem is that the tour guide needs pictures to put in his guidebook. And so the grammar detectives will go around taking pictures at each stop and they will have these pictures to, they should be cut out before they join class, but they'll have these pictures to put in the different, uh, places there on the guidebook page. They also will be given these 
cards to cut out and throughout the class the students will be seeing different sentences as we talk about each place and they'll be showing me the different uh, types of sentences and it's amazing how quickly they pick up on this they will start in Bombasa and we will continue uh, going from park to park as they learn about the different types of sentences. Students love to see the animation that I show them. We uh, see sentences in which I will then read the sentence to them so they don't need to know how to read. They then will hold up the card and let me know what type of sentence they have and that, it, that this would be. And uh, then I show them the punctuation mark to show that they are correct. We talk about the different activities you can do there. And again, they each time a sentence pops up, I read it. We talk about expression when we read uh, and we look at the different punctuation marks. I, tell them the importance of making sure they look at punctuation marks at the end of sentences as they read so they can make sure they get the correct expression. When we're finished with each spot, they take a picture and we read the sentence. They decide what type of sentence it is, put the correct punctuation mark there at the end, and then we pull out that uh, page with the missing pictures and talk about where to put it. This class is very, very interactive. Students love it. I use a lot of different activities to uh, change it up because the class is about an hour long, but I do not have children get tired. We sing a song, there's puppets. We even meet a little boy named Benai Jumbo <laughs> from Kenya and he gives a lot of declarative sentences telling about himself, his family, where he lives, the things that his family will do in order to make money for the family, the things that they make and sell to tourists as they come and visit in Kenya. Uh, we watch videos, we, uh, I think I mentioned we sing songs, uh, there's creative writing, there's gluing and and just so many different activities when and then to end the class we do review to make sure that the students know what we're doing after we've done it throughout the whole class and I've taken the book don't let the pigeon drive the bus and I've changed it and said don't let the monkey drive the jeep and as we go through uh, children see a little bit of animation and we hear sentences in which the children will uh, give, show me their cards again, letting me see the different punctuation marks that they have. Students really love this activity. And when we're finished with that, students have a creative writing activity in which they can choose where to not let the monkey or what to not let the monkey do don't let the monkey and i encourage them to come up with some creative ideas on what they don't want the monkey to do they can write it here this is written this activity this sheet is for early writers who write fairly big this one here is for writers who can write smaller and that way they can get it all on one page they then have the different monkeys in which they have to decide sentences that they would like to have the monkey say in response to what they're not going to let the monkey do. Now this is one just for kids who are still beginner writers that maybe need a little bit more room to write. You have some different options there. And when we're finished, <laughs> when we're finished I have a fun song that I sing to the tune of bingo that the kids enjoy singing along with me. And um, they have puppets that they like to sing with also. I hope that you will come to owlschool.com and check my class out. I have many classes I offer, and but this one is one of my very favorites, and I'm sure your child will love it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, and you will receive notifications as I put out new videos. Thank you so much. I hope to see you there. Goodbye.